redo on the barbecue chicken. This time I'm going to use pieces. And I've just put the pieces in there and put just a little salt and pepper on top of them. And I'm going to cook it at about 375 for 15 minutes. Then I'm going to flip it and do it for another 15 minutes. And the first time I tried with a whole half a chicken and it came out okay. But um, I'd see, like to see if I can improve on this. So this time, this is how we're going to do it. So let's see how this comes out. We've hit the halfway mark, so it's been about 15 minutes. We're going to go ahead and turn the chicken over, and it's looking good so far. And personally, I do a lot of chicken, so this is a really um, exciting thing for me to try to figure out how to do in here. And I'm already thinking I should have started maybe with the skin side down, but there we are coming along nicely and what we're going to do now is go ahead and give the other side a little run with the salt and the pepper there's some salt there's some pepper if I was going to do a roast chicken I'd add some lemon but we're not so and then I'm going to go ahead and give it about another 15 minutes on this side. Let's get the lid back on. Turn it to 15. And there we go. We're back and I actually added another 5 minutes to these chicken pieces on this side. Not because I really thought it needed it, but because the manual says to do 35 minutes for chicken pieces. And I really wanted to see how accurate that was. So I'm going to use my thermometer and I'm going to test one of these and I'm going to see if it's up at 165 degrees. That will let us know how accurate their um, manual is on chicken. So we actually barely made it up to 140 and that's about consistent with the last time I made a whole chicken so I don't think that their timing is very accurate. So we're going to go ahead and turn them over again just because I want the skin side to be a little um, crispy and that's the side I want to put the barbecue sauce on. Turn these little guys over. So far I do have to say though I'm pretty pleased with how these are um, cooking up. The pieces are doing wonderfully in here. All right. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go ahead and give these maybe another 10 minutes and then we'll check them again. I almost forgot, before I turn it on for that final 10 minutes, I went ahead and brushed it with some barbecue sauce here. It's just KC Masterpiece Smoky Bourbon Barbecue Sauce. And I just used a little silicone brush here and got it all on there. And um, that way it can kind of cook up on there a little bit during that last bit of time. So that would have been a nice little important step. I'm going to turn it on for about... I think we set a final 10 minutes and then we should be done. All right, so the timer has gone off and we already know these are cooked because we checked the temperature before we put the barbecue sauce on. And wow, those are looking really great. The caramelization is looking fantastic on there, which is exactly what I was looking for. That's what they would look like sort of if they were on a grill. And they're not too moist and sticky. Oh, let's get some of those out of there. Got my bowl here. It smells really good. I mean, just look at that. Let's see if I can focus in a little bit here for you. Just beautiful. There's one piece. Let's get a, uh, let's get a leg over here. Oh, I think that's going to be really good. Put the oven back a little bit. Let you have a really good look at that. Just really, really good. So I think the verdict in the end is going to be this. Chicken pieces came out fantastic. Definitely something I'm going to do again. I would do 15 minutes on one side, turn it over, and just give it 15 minutes on the second side. Brush on your barbecue sauce and then give it another 10. So that seems to be the uh, magic number setting there. 
So I'm going to go ahead and uh, eat this chicken. And next time I think I might just try some uh, fried chicken in the oilless fryer. I think that and boneless chicken are the only two things we haven't really categorized as far as uh, what this thing can really do with chicken. So, bon appetit.